Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. It's Monday. Are you ready? How was your weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Did you eat pupusas? Did you go out with friends? What did you do? All right. So this is Benjamin right there. Uh, who can tell me what information do you remember about the class of the previous class on Friday? What do you remember? What can you tell me? Anybody? All right, so today we're gonna go ahead and start from where we left off in the previous class, which was related to the intonation and pronunciation. And we were also looking at the uh, time contrasts. I don't know if you remember any of that, but that was what we were talking about. So at this moment, I would like for us to review that part, just review, just to refresh. All right. We were looking at this section right here. Below. Can everybody make hear? Make sure you do it and present it to your teacher to make sure you did it right. Yes. Okay. Hello, everyone. Before you watch our video, we want you to write on our discussion box expressions that you already know, which are used in the past, present, and future. Time contrasts. Past. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Present. These days, the population is growing so fast. Future. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. People used to shop at grocery stores. Today, people shop at supermarkets. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. We noticed you wrote some time expressions related to past, present, and future. Well done. Now let's talk a bit about time contrast. This helps us to talk about perhaps a same situation that we have lived over the years and we want to make reference since it happened, taking it to our present and imagining it in a future. The trick here is for us to use the verbs properly in its right tense along with time expressions. Let's go over the chart. In the first column we talk about past and we use time expressions like a few years ago or people used to or 50 years ago and our verbs are in past. We used lived and walked. Let's move on to the present and here we use these days, today or nowadays and of course our verbs are is growing shop and drive which are in the present last but not least we have our future using expressions such as soon in 20 years in the future therefore we use verbs in future will be might buy are going to use time contrast is easy to use just double check on your verbs think about it as one sentence pretense we will now give you more time expressions that you may use with each tense Past expressions, at that time, in the past, then. Present expressions, currently, in the meantime, now. Future expressions, in the next couple of years, next, in the near future. Now we want you to write a short description about... All right, I would like for us to look at these right here as a child I used to. Five years ago, I, nowadays, I, 
next year I'm going to, in five years, I'll. Who can give me one sentence using one of these phrases? One example using one of these phrases. Somebody? One example? As a child, I used to play soccer every afternoon. Very good. As a child, I used to play soccer every afternoon. Excellent. Uh, another example with five years ago. Another example with five years ago. Anybody? Five years ago, I studied high school. Excellent. Five years ago, I studied high school. Good, good. Thank you. Uh, who can give me an example with nowadays? Nowadays. Nowadays, I study English. Very good. Now, nowadays, I study English every day. Good. Who can give me an example with next year, I'm going to. Next year, I'm going to. Next year, I'm going to visit Canada. Excellent. Next year, I'm going to visit Canada. Good, good. Uh, an example with in five years, I'll. In five years, I'll. Who can give me an example? In five years, I'll travel to Canada. In five years, I'll travel to Canada. Good, good. And the last one. In 10 years, I might. One example with in 10 years, I might. Somebody, somebody. In 10 years, I might, in, anybody. In 10 mm -hmm. years, I might to travel with, no, to travel, um, okay, that's okay. Thank you, Marlene. Thank you. <laughs> Somebody else? Somebody else? In 10 years, I might. In 10 years. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead, Michelle. Go ahead, Jose. Okay. In 10 years, I might be grandfather. Oh, okay. In 10 years, <laughs> I might be a grandfather. All right. <laughs> yes, in, ten, in 10 years, I might travel around Europe. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Good job, guys. Uh, any questions about this vocabulary? Questions about this topic or this vocabulary? Anybody? No. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the next section. For the next section, we are going to look at section 4.7. 4.7. Seven. Okay, in this class, you will listen to an audio and make the exercises. As you listen, you will develop skills in listening for main ideas. For better or worse, listen, please. Listen to people discuss changes. Check the topic Can everybody each person here? talks about. 
Can everybody hear? One. How long yes. have you been living okay. here? Yes, teacher. Oh, okay. for over okay. 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Two. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, well, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, it's usually full. Three. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Page 60. Exercise 5. Part B. Listen again. Write down the change and if things are better or worse now. 1. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. 2. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, well, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, it's usually full. 3. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I was saying at this moment, do you guys have any questions about the pronunciation or questions about the meaning of the words in the audio? Preguntas sobre la pronunciación o el significado de alguna palabra en el audio? Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to listen to the audios and answer the exercise in pairs. Listen to the audio and answer what is the topic each person is talking about. You will have five minutes. One person can share the screen.
todavía no. Benjamín. 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 Hey, Benjamín, did you answer? <laughs> No, entonces póngale play al audio para que lo escuche. No me deja, no me deja. Eh, amplíelo, amplíelo primero. Y luego le da play. Se escucha muy fuerte la tele. No. Bájale un poquito. No se escucha. Nada. No. Claro. ¿Se escucha? No. Qué raro. Voy a ver si puedo compartir yo, tal vez si se escucha. All right, guys, is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? Yes, I finished. Okay, let's go ahead and check. We're gonna take a look at the first one. The first one says, woman, what is the first woman talking about? Population, transportation, families, environment, cities, or shopping? Environment. 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 Excellent. Uh, number two, the man. Is he talking about population, transportation, families, environment, cities, or shopping? What is the topic? Transportation. 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 Good, good. Uh, the last one, number three, woman. What is she talking about? Population, transportation, families, environment, cities, or shopping? Family. Family. Families. Families, good. Good job. Teacher. Hi. I want to know about one word that I, I listen in the conversation. Yes. But I don't know the meaning. What is the meaning of shame? Shame. What a shame. What a shame. Shame. When, when people say, what a shame, is cuando como dicen como, que pena. What mm. a shame. Que pena, dice. Porque a mí me gusta escuchar a los niños jugar. Mm -hmm. What a shame. Good Thank question. You. Thank you. Another question? Another question? Teacher. Hi. I had a question. 
Yes. In, uh, the meaning of environment is it's like ambiente. That is correct. El medio ambiente, oh. the environment. Oh. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Any more questions before we continue? Questions before we continue? Okay, thank you. Let's go ahead and look at section number 4.9. Section number 4.9. Uh, by the end of this class, you will learn how to use conditional sentences with if clause, right? Uh, this is the other one. We were looking at possible situations. No se escucha, teacher. No se escucha, teacher. More explanation. Conditional everybody sentences hear? with if clauses. Can everybody yes. hear? Possible yes, situation teacher. plus simple present. If you get a high paying job, consequence plus future with will, may, or might. You won't have to work as hard. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called first conditional, by the way, we will divide it in two parts, if clause and main clause. In conditional, we use the word if. So we say, if I study, I will pass my exam. Follow me in the structure. If clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present. Main clause, subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, don't forget to write your consequence using the future will, may, or might. All right, let's look, take a look at the first example. Some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, don't forget to write your consequence using the future will, may, or might. Okay, so we're going to write down here you're going to go where it says titulo and you're going to copy conditional sentences with the if clause and you're going to put it over here and i want you to give me at least six examples with if for example if i learn if i learn english <clears throat> if i learn english i might get a good job if, if i won the lottery I would go to France. And then when you finish, I want you to send it to the platform. And I want you to speak about your, your ideas. 
things that you want to do in your life. Any questions right now? Questions at this moment? Could you explain the, uh, again, please? Yes. We're going to write yes. at least six examples. Six. Six examples. Six examples. Uh, and you're going to be working from section number 4.10. Yes. And you're going to write the examples here in the discussion box. And the title is going to be conditional sentences with if. You can speak about your job, your family, your plans for the future, travel, anything that you want. Are you ready? Okay, thank you. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's go. El verbo va de el verbo se escribe en pasado, verdad? Uh, for example, uh, if I have a time, I'll finish that letter. Por ejemplo, si tengo tiempo, terminaré esta carta, vea. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. En presente. En presente, ok. Uh -huh. compartir ustedes la pantalla. Ok. Voy a ver. Okay. Se mira, compañero. Sí, sí se logra ver. Ok. Gusta pongamos su ejemplo primero. Topic primero. Es conditional with case. Sí. Luego aquí empezamos. Por ejemplo. Okay. Uh, if if um if I if I have if I have a time I have a time I just have a full idea. If I have a time. Parece que aquí los había escrito ya. Ole. Have a time of finish that letter. Sí. Creo que este tenemos que usar el might o el may. Ah, okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ahí podríamos poner I, I may. I may. En vez de will. Ajá. I may. No se escribe may. Así. No, el may. El que se escribe may. M-A-Y. 
no hay de, es de poder, ¿verdad? Ajá, correcto, de poder, sí. Ay, me. Ay, me. Finish the letter. The letter. ¿Así? Sí, claro. Sí, sí. Eh, no, es... Es doble T. Doble T, correcto. Sí, claro. Así. Una T le hace falta. Una T le hace falta. Ok, gracias. <risa> Es que me voy a colocar bien estos lentes. No, okay, sí. Vaya, luego tengo ¿Sí? mi ejemplo. Sí. Es, if you cook. If yeah. you cook. Uh -huh. I might. Ma... We need more time, teacher. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're not finished. Um, I have to take the attendance. And then after I take the attendance, I will put you back in your groups. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, guys, yo sé que no han terminado, pero ya es hora de tomar la asistencia. So, les voy a tomar la asistencia cuando diga su nombre, diga present, y después vamos a regresar a terminar el ejercicio. Okay? I'm just going to take the attendance. When I say your name, say present, and then we will return to the groups to finish the exercise. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Benjamin. Present. Thank you. Uh, today is the third. Today is July third. Uh, let me have the next one, Brenda. Present. Awesome. Carmen. Present, teacher. Good job. Edgar. Eh, yo creo que Edgar escribió en el WhatsApp que iba a estar de oyente, ¿verdad? Edgar, Fernando, yes, ok. Eh, si ven, si su compañero escribe en el chat del eh, WhatsApp o del chat del um, el Zoom, por favor me avisa. Elisa. Presente, ya. Thank you. Giselle. Yo creo que Giselle escribió en el Present. chat, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh, ok. Present, teacher. Present, I'm Giselle. Here. Ok, excellent, thank you. Eh, Janet. Janet. Janet, present or absent? Absent, ok. Ven a Janet por aquí. Escribe en el grupo. Okay. En okay. el grupo escribí. En el grupo, okay. Janet, thank you. All right. Next one is Jose. Present. Excellent. Karen Bernal. Present teacher. Very good. Karen Villanueva. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Leslie. De oyente creo que estará, si puso en el grupo. Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, Maria. Present teacher. Excellent. Marlene. Present teacher. Very good. Melissa. Present. Awesome. Michelle. Present. Fantastic. 
Neftali. Very good. The next one is Nimrod. Present. Good job. Oscar Santana. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Zambrano. Yo creo que está de oyente también. Eh, Roberto. Present teacher. Good job. Sara. Present. Excellent. Selma. Selma. Is absent, okay. Sylvia. Sylvia. Teacher. Hi. Ha escrito Janet eh, Villafuerte de que está fuera del país. Eh, oh, pero okay. que sí, oyente. Okay, ya vi. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So Janet is present. Janet. Okay. Is present, Janet. Okay. Uh, the next one is uh, Sylvia. De oyente puso en el grupo. De oyente, okay, thank you. Uh, Wendy. Present teacher. Very good. Jenny. Present teacher. Excellent. All right, so we have Selma is absent. Everybody is present. Excellent. Okay, guys. So let's look at the example uh, here from the exercise. Okay, so the question was, if the verb is in simple present? Yes, the verb is in the simple present. Uh, what is the difference between using if in this situation and if with the simple past? All right. Uh, I'm going to explain it to you. Si la, si la situación es imaginaria, like for example, si me gano la lotería, iré a París. El verbo es en past tense. ¿Por qué? Porque es algo imaginario, no es real. Right? Si yo te digo, eh, if I were a millionaire, I would buy seven homes, right? So that's an imaginary situation. In this situation, it's not imaginary, it's possible, right? So that's why the verb is in simple present. En este condicional, el verbo va en presente. ¿Por qué? Porque es una situación que sí se puede dar. Do you understand? Do you understand the difference? Yes, teacher. Okay. Ahorita questions, yes. questions, questions right now about the grammar. Questions, questions, Jose. Questions, could you, Jenny. Could you, mm -hmm. could you uh, write in the, the example? Yes. One more it, example, please. Okay, okay. If, for example, if you save money, you will go on the trip. Si ahorras dinero, podrás ir en el viaje. Uh, if she speaks English, she will have a better job. Si ella habla inglés, tendrá un mejor trabajo. 
So, son cosas posibles, right? Si tú dices eh, algo posible, si voy al gym y hago ejercicio, voy a estar fuerte. Is that a possibility? Yes, it's very possible. Uh, if I go to the gym and work out, no solo hacer selfies, if I go to the gym and work out, uh, I will be strong. Seré fuerte, right? Ese, eso es imaginario? No, eso es muy posible, muy real. Um, another example. Um, another example. Si tú dices, por ejemplo, um, si practico todos los días, Mejoraré mi inglés. If I practice, if I practice every day, I will improve my fluency, right? I will improve my fluency. Um, usted dice, Si evito la comida grasosa, perderé de peso. If I avoid, if I avoid greasy food, I will lose weight. Okay. ¿Les ayudó eso? Example yes. imaginary. <laughs> ah, imaginary, digamos, si usted dice, eh, el imaginary va con el verbo en pasado. Si yo te digo, si yo fuera el presidente, compraría siete casas. If I were the president, I would buy seven homes, right? That's imaginary. Eh, y el verbo va en pasado, were, si yo fuera. Y usamos el would. O, o digamos, si me gano la lotería, me muevo para Francia. If I won the lottery, I would move to France. If I a pan francés todos los días. Right? What's another imaginary situation? What's another something that you can say, hey, this is not real, but I imagine. If I were, if I were a million, millionaire, million. No, millionaire, if I were a millionaire, uh -huh. I will buy a car, a new okay. car. I would buy, uh, what kind of car? Un Lamborghini Diablo or un Maserati, <laughs> right? Something um, like that, or a Ferrari. Ferra Ferrari. Okay, this is a Ferrari. Lamborghini. Our oh, Lamborghini. Lambo. Um, Rolls Royce. <laughs> all right, a Rolls Royce. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Any questions? Okay, let's go ahead and work together and finish the exercise. Ready, let's go.
ejemplo de, de... Elisa, what is your red sample? My example, I mean, uh, if you, if, okay. I have another example. Uh, but if she, for well, example, if she uh, speak English, if she speak English, um, I may, I may, she will have a new, okay, she, she may, she may, creo que sería, I, I get a work. Uh, she, she may, get, uh -huh, she may, she, de podría, verdad, she may, she may, Get de conseguir, conseguir. Get uh, a job. A new, uh, ¿cómo se? A new world, a new job. Okay. The other. If you finish the homework early. Okay. If you. Oh. Finish the homework. The homework. The homework. Early. Uh, early. We might go to the movies. We might. Might. Uh huh. No, might. Sí. Podría. We might. Eh, no, de, might. Ah, de podría. Ah, de podría. Yeah. We might go to the movies. Go to the movies. Okay. Un, dos, tres, cuatro. Faltan dos. Por ejemplo, if you say money, um, you may travel to Europe. Podría ser. O, o cómo lo haría. Hay que hacer una con el will. Ok. Uh, if you say money, you will travel to Europe. I will. Uh -huh. if, if you say money, you say money. I will. Tiene que llevar coma, ¿verdad? Sí, es separado. Okay. You will. Ay, le puse un montón de L's. ¿O no? Le falta una L, ¿verdad? You will. Oh, no, le falta una. You will travel. travel. You will travel. To. You. Europe. Europe. Eh, uh... Europa. Ok, falta uno. Otro compañero. The other example. If you stay all day. If you, you stay, stay all, all day. On the beach. On, on the beach. On the beach. You will get. You will get. Song burned. Es es Song burned. Este se escribe. No Word, me así. No. No, de, de, de quemar, burn. B-U-R-N-E-D. Pérez. Son U. No, sería B. Ay, Dios mío, son B. U. U. R. R. N. N. E. D. 
Ed. Okay. Okay. That's it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yes, I'm six. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. That's all. Open the one If I avoid. Ponemos más ejemplos, compañeros, lo dejamos así. ¿Ves uno más? Si alguien tiene uno más. Ok. En la anterior, en la anterior ha puesto it, you stay. Sí. Ah, sería it ha puesto. Sería if. Yeah, if, if. If, if you stay ah. away in the beach. Se me cruzan las letras. <risa> Okay. The other. Otro ejemplo. If. If I avoid. Uh, ay, ya perdí la idea. Eh, tengo otro. Okay. If we take a cab. If we take a car, it sería C A B. C -A no, no, es, C no, no, es, no, es B, okay. no es car, sino es cab. C A B. De gato. De taxi. De taxi. De, no es, ajá. C A B. C. C a, B, C, A, B. Sí. <ríe> no, este. No, borré eso. La T okay. y la A. Ah, ok. C, A, B. C, A. No, la A. C, A, B. C, A, B, así. Ay, I'm sorry. <ríe> Pero se va a poner bien el audífono, quizás por un Ok. No If we take a cup, we will get. We will get there. 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 Uh huh. There. On time. On on the time. On time. Ah, uh, on time. Okay. If we take a cup, we will take the time. Okay. Tomamos un taxi. Llegaremos a tiempo. Uh -huh. Y a tiempo. Ojalá poder okay. tiempo. Ok. If, if you study. If you study. Como. You will pass the exam. You. You need. You will. Okay. You will. You will will pass the exam. Pass the exam. 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 Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Todavía. Todavía. Is everybody finished? Yes, finished, teacher. Okay. All right. Let's check. Let's check. Let me have one volunteer. Let me have one volunteer, please. One volunteer, please. Let me have one volunteer. Read your examples. Me teacher. All right, go ahead. Wait a second. The same. The first one. 
If I had a Lamborghini, I will visit all El Salvador. Las leo todas. Yes. Yes, okay. please. If I were millionaire, I will buy a castle. If I were an inventor, I could get some recognized. If I were astronaut, I will go to the moon. And the last one, if I had a train, train, I will visit Paris. Excellent. Good job, Merlene. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Let me have another volunteer. Uh, me, teacher. All right, Roberto. Okay. Uh, we have only four sentences, but okay. Okay. The first one is if I want the learning, I will travel around the world. Okay. The second, the second one is if I practice English, I will be bilingual. Bilingual. Uh, the, uh, the third one, if I have money, I will buy a new car. Okay. The fourth one, if he, he smoke too much, he will die. Of cancer, correct. Yeah, with cancer. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the last one, I, I didn't finish. Okay, it's, that's good enough. That's good enough. Thank okay. you. Good examples. Okay, thank, thank Good thank examples. You. Mm -hmm. Another volunteer that wants to share the examples. If I say money, I will buy a Toyota Celica. Ah, okay, nice, nice. Toyota Celica is mm -hmm. a good car. If I were a princess, I will sleep all day. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> the good life, the good life, okay? All right, guys, it's time to go. Uh, please continue working on the exercises on the platform, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good, good night. night. See you Have tomorrow, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.